Root canals may seem intimidating and sound scary, but really they're not. They are a straightforward procedure that can treat and save a tooth. When decay or a cavity goes into the nerve area of a tooth, the process of repairing and saving this damaged or infected tooth is called root canal therapy, aka a root canal. So the first thing you'll do is take a seat into the root canal room. Usually there's lots of stuff in the room that can look overwhelming, but truly don't worry about it. It's not something to be overwhelmed about. Next, the dentist or the endodontist will make sure you get nice and numb so you won't feel anything during the procedure. Here you're seeing the patient get nice and numb. From the anesthetic, all you'll feel is a little pinch, and then after that, it's smooth sailing. Now, before starting the procedure, a dental dam will be placed with a clamp around the tooth to isolate the area. Oftentimes, a bite block and saliva ejector will be placed in the mouth as well before the dental dam is secured. The bite block helps the patient not have to stay opened wide the whole entire time, so it prevents the patient's jaw from getting fatigued. Now that everything is ready, you can see that they are securing the dental dam in place. Then they'll place a caulking material. It seals around the tooth and helps block out any fluids that may be coming in and out. So now that we're all set up, the first thing the doctor will do is remove the decay. You can see here that they are drilling the tooth just like they would during a routine filling procedure. You know when a cavity is being removed and then a filling is placed, it's the same type of drilling happening right here. Next, they may use an explorer to check the area to make sure the nerve is ready for root canal therapy. If it's ready, then it's time for the RC prep and the files. The RC prep is this white stuff you see here. This stuff helps lubricate the canal so the hand vials can go down into the canal, which brings us to the hand vials. This part is kind of hard to see, but what's happening is the files are helping clean out and open up the canal. Depending on the technique that the doctor is using, they may use a bunch of different sized files. Again, you will be super numb during this whole procedure, so you won't be feeling any of this. The goal of this part is that they are trying to get into the tip of the canal so they can have a working path to the apex of the tooth. The apex of the tooth is the terminal end of the root of the tooth. So an apex locator is this machine that you see here. That's the part that is attaching to it. You'll normally hear a beeping sound during this part. But what this apex locator does is just what it says. It helps you locate the apex, which is the end of the root of the tooth. Now you can see rotary files being used here. These rotary files are different from the hand files because they are used with the power driven instrument. Next, the hypochlorite is used. This is a cleaning solution that cleans and lubricates the area. You want this area clean and lubricated. An ultrasonic might also be used to get straight line access down the root so the files won't bind. Once they have straight line access, they have confirmation of the depth and an x-ray may be taken now to document this. You may also now hear the dentist and assistant calling out numbers back and forth, such as 20.5, 20.5, 20.5. In 20 this case, in this video, the length to the apex is 20.5. So depending on how many canals there are, you might hear lots of numbers being called out back and forth. Now back to the files and then the hypo solution. This may be a pattern for a little bit. They will be reconfirming the length with the files. The goal of the files again is to open up the canal and here we are flushing all the organic material out and all of the infective material out, AKA bacteria. We wanna flush all that out. So this pattern of files, cleaning solution, files, cleaning solution, files, cleaning solution, that might happen a few times more. And then after they're done with that pattern, next up is the ultrasonic streaming agitator. This helps get the solution to go in further and deeper. It's kind of like stirring up sugar and coffee. So I really like that analogy. So it can get into all the little crevices and clean out the canal better. Next, they may use the hypochlorite again. Again, this is a cleaning solution. And then next, there's a new solution called EDTA. This one specifically opens up the pores inside the canal. So the little channels that get blocked up from when they were filing, there's bacteria and the nerve and stuff. So they need to open up those channels and clean them out. Once they are opened up, they agitate and then cleanse them out again. Here you can see they are now doing a pattern of agitating and cleansing. Next, they will use a special suction and a paper point to dry everything up. So basically they just disinfected everything in there and now they are drying it all up to get everything out of there. 
Now it's time to seal it up. Gutta percha is a rubber-like material that fills the canal. Here you can see the gutta percha dipping into sealer, which gets in between the gutta percha and closes the voids. You can see here the gutta percha is being placed in there now. And then they will use a down packer to condense the gutta percha. So it's kind of like making sure it fills the three-dimensional space rather than the two-dimensional space. Now a condenser will help pack it in. Next up is the backfill. And now we're condensing the backfill. In this specific case, the tooth needs a little more decay removed from the side before they fill it. So they are going to do that now. And the plan for this case is to put a temporary filling on it until it heals and then they could put a crown on it later. So here you're seeing them prepare the tooth for the filling with the etch and then the solo and then the fill. Once they are done filling the tooth, they will remove the clamp and the dental dam and all the stuff in the patient's mouth, the bite block, saliva ejector, etc. And then polish up the tooth, make sure it's nice and smooth and comfortable. And lastly, they will take another x-ray. Some root canals will need two appointments to finish and some need only one. Afterwards, the tooth will be restored with a filling or a crown. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where you can search for a specific dental topic and find an article or a video that goes along with the topic you searched. Peace, love, and teeth.